only known contraindications will be the patient is unfit for general anesthesia number 1 number 2 patient has a uncontrolled coagulopathy which is uncontrolled so please write this this completes the story about what are the indications have you completed this sir yes sir good talk about the pre operative preparation the pre operative preparation of a patient who awaits a gallbladder surgery should always be an ultrasound of the whole abdomen that should tell you not only the problems of gallbladder but other organs also which you can plan beforehand number 2 investigations needed to rule out cbd stone i think you know this they are lft what is lft liver function test what is seen in this one bilirubin alkaline phosphatase and if the alkaline phosphatase is increased then mandatorily please go for a mrcp magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatogram this completes the picture if you have completed this tell me done sir done sir the third point of contention is investigations required for general anesthesia fitness investigations required for general anesthesia fitness what are they blood for complete blood count blood for sugar urea creatinine chest x ray ecg is the minimum thing that you require coagulation profile is better to be known for these patients age more than 60 or hypertensive patients should have a echocardiogram done okay complete yes sir yes sir right so these are all the things that you require for all patients with the ga in elective operation not an emergency this is only for elective planned operation not an emergency when we will be talking appendectomy even though that is a ga you don't need any investigation except maybe for the coagulation profile and hemoglobin so this is what you required to know in general anesthesia fitness investigations now come to the steps of the operation the steps of operation in this will include number 1 the patient's position is supine arms are abducted that means the patient's arms are like this number 2 the antiseptic dressing 
A is the antiseptic dressing from the mid chest to mid thigh. Number three, anesthesia is always general anesthesia with endotracheal intubation. Number fourth, the incision is a right subcostal incision. If you have completed, please tell me. Yes, sir. Done. Chalo. Thank you. Now, step five. After opening the abdomen, after opening the abdomen, number one, the diagnosis is confirmed. by inspection of the gallbladder. What is the color of a gallbladder that is with chronic cholecystitis? Sir, the color of a chronic calculus cholecystitis is gray-white, firm gallbladder. Whereas on palpation, there will be a gallstone. So, grey-white firm gallbladder and with a gallstone. If you have completed writing, then I will proceed. Yes, yes, sir. So after opening the abdomen is done, then the mops or three mops are placed sequentially to expose the gallbladder. What do you mean by this? Understand the story. The mop one will displace the right colic flexure. Mop 2 will displace the stomach and mop 3 for the duodenum. Some people don't take 3 mops, they take 2 and it can be done if you have a large mop, with a single mop also. Now what do I mean by this? What do I mean by this is that, that if this is the liver and this is the gallbladder, I do not draw a nice picture, but still I think this will be helpful for you to understand. Now with this picture, I think, yes, now you can understand this. The mop one, what I will color with this one, is that the mop one is used for, the mop looks like a handkerchief with a tail. So it pushes down the hepatic flexure. The mop two is for the stomach. And what we do is that, we take this and then push it down. <coughs> Sorry. And then this is mop 3, which is used in pulling out the duodenum. So there are three mops that are used in the traction of the surrounding viscera, the stomach, the colon, and this. And ultimately, the liver remember 
the liver is retracted with a diverse or retractor the liver is retracted with a diverse retractor okay if you have written this please sir why do you write single mop there because two and three can be done with a single mop sometimes if the patient's stature is short if you have a large mop then and remember that the single mop is retracted by the left hand of the assistant so the single mop is usually known to retract is retracted by the left hand of the assistant so the examiner's favorite question is if your assistant's right hand is broken with a police fracture no problems the left hand of the assistant is very valuable so definitely i need a left hand wall assistant or a left hand of the assistant is very important so this is all about the exposure things that examiners will ask you to expose the call bladder the next step this is step number 5 Sir, mean using one mop, we can uh, retract both no, stomach no, and duodenum. No, yes, yes, sir. Using one mop, you can retract the stomach and the duodenum. Okay, sir. If you have a big mop, okay. Chalo. Come to the next one. The step number will be six, I think. Yes. The calotes triangle is exposed. and by retracting the gall bladder using two moynihan or swab holding forceps that means in operative you will be doing this now see the picture and then it will be easy for you understand that how is the calotes triangle made this picture will tell you how the calotes triangle is made the two retractors that you are required to that sorry the two forceps that you are required to attach i will pull the gall bladder just a minute the fundus of the gall bladder is pulled upwards whereas the hartmann's pouch is pulled downwards and outwards these are asked in viva how many moynihans do you need i need two moynihans where are they used and what is the purpose so this exposes a triangle that is called as calotes triangle the boundaries of the calotes triangle will be the common hepatic duct the boundaries of the calotes triangle will be the cystic duct and the infundibulum of the gall bladder and finally it will be the inferior surface of the liver so there are three boundaries to be known one it will be the common hepatic duct it will be the cystic duct and the infundibulum of the gall bladder and finally it will be the under surface 